Today in our 2012 Volkswagen Beetle, we're going to be test fitting the Swagman XC2 bike rack, part number S64650, and this can be used with inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. We already have a bike installed on the rack. Let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. The bike rack does have a raised shank to it, so even if your hitch does sit particularly low to the ground, you're not going to have an issue of clearance between your bike rack and the ground. The wheel trays are adjustable back and forth by loosening and tightening these knobs, and this is to accommodate both loading and to accommodate bikes of different sizes as well. How it grips your bike to the bike rack is going to have one point of contact, and it's going to be this padded frame hook up at the top, and it is padded to make sure that your frame of the bike itself does not get scratched up. So let's go ahead and take the bike off. <clears throat> to do that, we'll come to the base of the frame hook. You'll see this gray trigger. Push that in and up. Now we can grab our bike, being careful not to bump the vehicle. Right now we have it in the loading position. And with it in this position, I'd like to give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outermost point, which would be our wheel well here, we've added about 18 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. Our ground clearance is going to be about 10 inches, and our closest point is going to be about 6 inches to this inner wheel well here. Right now we have it in the loading position. There's a couple others that we can show you. We'll pull the pin at the base of the mast here, and now you can fold it down to either side and now we have full trunk access if we need to. Our final position is going to be the suitcase position, and that's when we fold up both arms with the wheel trays, again loosening up the pins and reinserting them. This is going to be more so for storage when you're finished using it. Put in your garage. How this attaches to the hitch, we will have an anti-rattle bolt and pin to hold it in place and take out the shake and play in the shank to make for a smoother ride. And there you have it for the Swagman XC2 bike rack on our 2012 Volkswagen Beetle. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop learn more or visit us at eTrailer.com.